Hi everyone and welcome back to How to Start Your Own YouTube Channel. I'm Sophia Stefu, the Digital Video Strategist at Sophina Media and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about self-framing. So if you've got the opportunity to work with a director and a director of photography or any type of crew, I highly recommend doing so. But if you are like me again and you're on the run and you're just trying to get something done, uh, here are some tips that I found that have worked for me that might work for you with regards to uh, shooting yourself. Um, not literally, but just figuratively with your camera. <laughs> so uh, first tip for you is get yourself a tripod that is going to save your life tremendously. Uh, it makes sure that the, uh, the camera is stable and so that you're not ending up doing these type of weird little selfies where the camera's shaking everywhere and it's just really difficult to, you know, to kind of focus on your face. So a tripod's very helpful in that capacity. Now, that being said, when you're trying to frame yourself, there's a couple of different ways that you can decide to do it. Uh, you can follow the rule of thirds, ways just to be on either one, split up the frame into one third and then just have your face on one side or the other side. So either on the left side or the right side. So that way it's the idea of sort of an interview style type of um, framing. And it works really well if you are somebody who's going to be doing an interview where, you know, you're kind of looking off to the camera. But if you're like me and you're doing a YouTube video, you can totally cheat, at least in my opinion, and you can do, you can frame yourself directly uh, square in the middle of the frame. So that's only if you're talking directly to the camera. But if you are talking to somebody else off camera, then my suggestion of using the rule of thirds is going to apply in that particular case. Also, what you want to do when you're framing yourself is, like I've done, I've done a medium shot. So I've gotten myself from sort of the uh, mid waist and up. Uh, and you want to make sure that you're not um, framing yourself so that you're cutting off yourself at your elbows or at your knees in particular. That just makes it look a little weird and so you want to avoid doing something like that. That being said, what you also want to look out for is your headroom. So how much room do you have on the top of your head? You don't want to have too much because otherwise it kind of looks like you're just sort of sinking into the frame or you're a really, really short person. Um, so what you want to do is just not give yourself, give yourself a little bit of room, but not too much room. You don't really need too much space on top of, uh, on the top of your head. So that's my, my, my rule of thumb for you with regards to, uh, framing and using a tripod. Also, what you want to make sure you're doing is in the previous video, we talked about, uh, not walking and talking at the same time. So you want to apply that rule here as well. So the problem with walking and talking is that again, it's more of a selfie. And so, you know, the camera can go all over the place. You're not really aware of what's happening. So my suggestion again, park and bark, just, uh, you know, in my case, I, I prefer to be seated. That way I can control the elements a little bit better. If you prefer to stand, not a problem at all. Just make sure that you're standing in one spot. So those are the suggestions that I have for you with regards to that. Now, when it comes to lighting, what you want to do is make sure that your light is coming in front of your face, uh, not from behind you. Otherwise, you're going to end up in full shadow. Now, I've done that a number of times myself, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, but what you want to make sure that you're doing is looking at your camera settings as well, because every camera is going to react very differently. So you want to make sure that you are uh, testing and adjusting and seeing what the light looks like. Ideally, you want to use natural light because that's the best one. You can't always control natural light. Sometimes you're going to fade in. Sometimes the sun will come in. Some sun will come out. Uh, cloudy days are usually a better bet because you can kind of control uh, the lighting a little bit better that way. Uh, that being said, you also want to make sure you have enough light. Um, make sure the light is... Um, uh, if you can, try to avoid some of the overhead lights. Uh, so for example, when you've got uh, things like, um, uh, you know, pot lights and stuff like that. In my case, for my particular camera, it just makes everything look kind of really yellow. In your camera, it might be a little bit different. So those are just, you know, just try to stick to natural light if you can. That's probably the best way to go. So those are the three areas that I wanted to talk to you about self-framing uh, today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, drop them below. If you want to subscribe to our channel, feel free to do so. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to, uh, to seeing you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.